We are deeply troubled by the ongoing conflict in Gaza. We view the United Nations Security Council's adoption of Resolution 2728 on 25th March as a positive step. As far as my country is concerned, India's position on the conflict has been clearly articulated on more than one occasion by our leadership. India has a long-standing and uncompromising position against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, and we demand the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. We welcome the efforts of the United Nations and the international community in this regard. Thank you, Mr. President. We are deeply troubled by the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The humanitarian crisis has deepened and instability has been increasing in the region and beyond. In this context, we view the United Nations Security Council's adoption of Resolution 2728 on 25th March as a positive step. The resolution we all recall had called for an immediate ceasefire for the month of Ramadan to be respected by all parties, leading to a lasting sustainable ceasefire and the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. As far as my country is concerned, India's position on the conflict has been clearly articulated on more than one occasion by our leadership. There are four key points here. One, the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has led to a large-scale loss of civilian lives, especially women and children. The resulting humanitarian crisis is simply unacceptable. We have strongly condemned the deaths of civilians in the conflict. It is imperative to avoid the loss of civilian lives in any conflict situation. International law and international humanitarian law must be respected by everyone under all circumstances. Two, the terror attacks on Israel on 7 October were shocking and they deserve our unequivocal condemnation. There can be no justification for terrorism and hostage taking. India has a long-standing and uncompromising position against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, and we demand the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. Three, the humanitarian situation in Gaza is dire. It is imperative that humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza be scaled up immediately in order to avert a further deterioration in the situation. We urge all parties to come together in this endeavor. We welcome the efforts of the United Nations and the international community in this regard. India has provided humanitarian aid to the people of Palestine, and we will continue to do so. Four, my leadership has repeatedly emphasized that only a two-state solution achieved through direct and meaningful negotiations between both sides on final status issues will deliver an enduring peace. We are committed to supporting a two-state solution where the Palestinian people are able to live freely in an independent country within secure borders with due regard to the security needs of Israel. Mr. President, to arrive at a lasting solution, we urge all parties to foster conditions conducive to resuming direct peace negotiations at an early date. Thank you.